Hello, my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here's your daily technical analysis of LME 3 month copper and aluminium. I'll start with LME 3 month copper. A third bearish black crow yesterday and a suitable follow on to the previous session's bearish closing black marabozo. Perhaps, perhaps most crucially, the market punched down through the 2021 50% of the Nigel line at 92.26 as well as the congestion at 9189 and 9160 plus both the optimized April 2020 today uptrend currently at 9436 and the original well not, not April but October 2020 to date uptrend which has been since reassigned to 8737. Now prices did not approach the next significant supports. And these are the rising long moving average, currently 88.52, and the congestion at 87.66 and 86.65. And so far today, another lower open and significant fall down through the long moving average and halting just below the 87.66 congestion. Further down, we now have the April high at 86.65. That's the congestion. But this hasn't been tested as yet. As prices have pulled back up between the 86, 87.66 congestion and the breached long moving average overhead. LME, three month aluminium. A third bearish black crow yesterday and a continued fall on lower from the Tuesday's key reversal down. There's been enough of a move lower that prices breached and closed back below the upper trend line of the May to date ascending triangle currently at 25.65. Now, you may recall, as I said over a number of recent days, that I have a problem with the breakout uh, from this bullish ascending triangle. You see, prices have or had sat here for going on for four weeks over the broken trend line. It looked for so long as if the market seems to be establishing itself over this trend line, this downtrend, and thus the bullish ascending triangle. I'd even suggested initial target X on the upside in the 2790 area. This assumed this current move higher was not or is not a false break. Well, we now close back below the upper trend line and in this ascending triangle, and the chances of a false break have soared. So far today, a further move lower into the ascending triangle and towards the next support, the rising short medium moving average currently 2508 and its partner the lower trend line of the ascending triangle, currently 2497. One other matter, and this has shown up something I've spoken about already, has shown up today, we may have through the action over the upper trend line formed a small double top pattern. And this has happened actually quite quickly, um, so I'm immediately suspicious of it, but I will place a target X1 for such a pattern, a 2444 area. Obviously, if we break out or break out below from the ascending triangle, I'll place additional series of targets for this pattern as well on the re on the downside and retire target X. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit.